Okay, so here's the problem. We have a bolt. We have a bolt shank. It doesn't really have a head on it. And the bolt's going to serve as a connection between two different parts. And the question is, how do you put in some threads in the middle of this thing and not really have threads on the end? So it's anticipated that the bolt is going to be uh, maybe uh, turned down a little bit on either end with threads in the middle. So you can actually insert that into the part and then have threads in the middle to connect uh, the two parts together. So anyways, how do you put in a cosmetic thread in the middle of this thing? Uh, what we have here is we have a plane that was put in by the, the person who was talking about this. And then you put in a sketch and here he's trying to do a split line. But what we really don't need, you don't really need the sketch three. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild this. And what we're going to use uh, here is going to be this plane in here. And then we're going to be using uh, the body here in order to split, to put in that split line. And once we put that split line in there, then we should be able to put in a cosmetic thread. So we're going to get rid of our sketch three. Just go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to put in our split lines. We're going to go ahead and choose that plane, or we can go ahead and, uh, you know, choose that second. So what we want to do is go up to Curves on the Command Manager, go to Split Line, uh, Selections. If you just take your cursor and rest it over these selection boxes, it's asking for a splitting bodies, which is going to be our plane. So we're going to go up here, we're going to choose our plane one. And then this body over here, this selection box over here, is going to be asking for our faces, bodies uh, to split. So we're going to go and click on that. So you can see our selection in light blue. We can see our preview of what we're going to be getting in the yellow. If we go to the green check mark, now we have that split line. And once we get that split line in there, if we go to insert, Go to annotations, go down to cosmetic thread. Now we can put in our thread. So if we go ahead and click on that split line, it's going to put in our thread all the way to the end if we want to do that. It's actually up to next here. So what we could do is just do blind and maybe put in a, you know, an arbitrary number, maybe five millimeters. And you can see it gives us a preview which it doesn't. It's still going all, all the way to the end. One thing to note about cosmetic threads is they're kind of like wild animals. Uh, we can't really do a whole lot with them. Sometimes it just has a mind of its own and does what it wants. It doesn't give us that preview here. And something else it doesn't allow us to do is go off in a different direction. There's really no opportunity here to go off in a different direction. So if you actually wanted to go back this way, what you need to do is put in another plane down here and another split line and then make it go off in that direction. But if you go to the green check mark, it should shorten up to 5 millimeters, which it does. So let me do this. Let's take that plane and let's uh, move that back a little bit. We'll put in two planes in here. And we're going to put in uh, two split lines. So we're going to take our first split line and uh, the cosmetic thread is associated with that. We're going to take that cosmetic thread. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to put in our second split line. And just to kind of group this a little bit better, let's take our plane 2 and put it just below our plane 1. And we're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to pre-select our plane two, go up to curves, go to split line, choose our body down here. Can't be that body. It's going to have to be this body. And now you can see this preview in here. So we're going to go to the green check mark. Now we have two split lines. If we go up to insert, annotations, cosmetic thread, and now choose this split line. And if it goes up to next, well, five millimeters, uh, you know, it'll go up five five millimeters, so it looks like it's going up to next, but it's going to do the green chalk mark. This is part of the wild animal thing again. Uh, what we see here is not necessarily what we're going to get, but if we go to the green chalk mark, now we have the five millimeter one. If we want to go back and uh, edit that, we're going to go ahead and edit that feature. We could do up to next, and now it's going to go to the end, and up, oh, doesn't even give us a preview. There's that wild animal again, but I think if we go to the green chalk mark, now, now it goes up to the end. So, so, you know, using split lines is a good way to get a cosmetic thread in the middle of your part. You still have one body. We're not splitting the body, we're splitting the line. So we don't have a folder up here of split bodies. So we can continue working on this as if it was one body itself, as it should be. But those split lines actually split the surface. And it gives us the ability to select a circular edge in here to put in some cosmetic threads.